uh, I had um, my daughter at 28 weeks and it was a very traumatic time, she was very poorly. Um, and then I just sort of got on with it, I think like a lot of parents do, something happens and you just knuckle down and get on with it. Um, and then a little bit further down the line started to get panic attacks when I was out and about, um, suffering from depression, um, was anxious pretty much all of the time. And um, obviously the doctor, they said I had PTSD and gave me medication, um, but it wasn't really working that well for me. And then I heard about David through a friend and came to see him and he did some work with me, helped me deal with my anxiety. Um, and so much better now, I'm back at work. Um, I was really struggling to do that. Um, I'm just a lot more confident and feel so much better in myself. It, a lot of, I used to get a lot of flashbacks to what happened when Amy was in hospital um, and so anything could trigger it and I'd start panicking again. Um, going out into busy places, I was always nervous. Um, and I had panic attacks in public before, which is horrible when you can't breathe and you, know, you think you're dying and it's really, really scary. Um, and basically just depression, not leaving the house, not wanting to leave the house. And all of my focus was just on looking after the baby and nothing else, um, not myself or anything like that. So it, it was affecting my life every day. It made me more tired, which is what you don't want when you've got children to look after. Um, and that didn't help with the actually getting out there and meeting people or doing anything because I would take the medication and just sleep. So that wasn't helping as well. I know it works for some people, but it wasn't working for me. So what PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, and when people hear that, I think they think of things like soldiers that have gone through horrific things and that happened, they get that afterwards. Um, but I went through a horrific thing myself, but because the focus is always on the baby, you forget about yourself, you put yourself to the back and you don't look after yourself properly and worry about your own mental health because you're too busy looking after the baby. But the shock of what happened is what made me so poorly. Being chatting to someone about what happened when Amy was in hospital was nerve-wracking enough, a um, subject that I don't, didn't really like talking about at the time. Um, but I just, once I started talking to her, I felt at ease, um, told him all about it and then he did some work with me on how to deal with um, my anxiety, how to cope when I get panicky. Um, and it, yeah, it works. All the things he's told me I use every day. I'm a lot more confident now. Um, I lost a lot of my confidence. Um, I've gone back to work. Um, I've trained as a Reiki therapist and a massage therapist um, to do that myself. And it's a lot of work in that is uh, about relaxing and, and do a lot of meditation. And the things that David taught me have all helped push me into doing that. Hello, I'm David Kilberry. Uh, just like to have a, a quick chat uh, about uh, PTSD, uh, which stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, which can occur to anybody, including me, and it can be, mean that you're unable to live your life normally because you are stuck in the past, or well, the past is not letting go of you. It could be a specific incident, uh, trauma of some description that uh, takes you off your feet and makes you just not feel right, makes you struggle to sleep, makes you dart, uh, you'll struggle to cope with normal everyday to day uh, functions and so on. So most of the time you'll find that you don't feel right and someone will suggest going to the doctor and the doctor will put you down the, the IAPT route uh, or potentially will, um, if, you, if you're really struggling, uh, will potentially put you on some sort of drugs, uh, some description. Uh, some medication uh, which uh, which can help uh, to take the, uh, the edge off uh, initially. The problem is obviously when, when we start to uh, get used to the drugs and then the serotonin or what, if you take sertraline or seroxin um, or the, um, the feel good chemicals and natural endorphins start to dry up in your system or in your brain and get chemical imbalance and that also makes you have side effects, uh, stress related side effects, uh, makes you feel anxious and depressed. Um, uh, these are uh, drugs that uh, uh, a, f a client left today they were in the bin, um, citalopram and um, uh, diazepam, which are um, going to be uh, disposed of very shortly, uh, which are quite normal. Citalopram uh, takes a little while to get, to get used to. Um, talking about post-traumatic stress disorder in particular, um, one of the, the best cures for PTSD is becoming obviously the science behind it is that 
you in the past, it was a particular incident, it was dealing with something in particular that gave you severe stress or trauma at that time, get when your body into overload, uh, adrenaline, cortisol, uh, go, going through the system and you struggled to maintain balance afterwards and kept going back there, re going back there, re, um, re going through it, re-victimising yourself in a way. Um, the cognitive behavioural therapy and, and also the, uh, the hypnotherapy and the NLP as well, uh, which is carried out here, uh, is very beneficial. Um, it keeps you, gets you present, it gets you in the moment, gets you absorbed uh, where you are and allows you to put that trauma in a box and also talk about it in a third person, a third party um, sense rather than feel it again, rather than bring it in and revisit it. Uh, the, the CBH and the NLP and so on uh, can help you to, and give you a powerful, practical human tool uh, it's recognised in a number of Buddhist countries well, the mindfulness which keeps, gets you present, gets you in the now. Because now it's not happening anymore. It happened then. It's not happening now. And you need to be able to relax in the present. And that's what the, the, the programme helps you to do. Um, thank you very much as well to everybody who's, um, who's provided um, education as well in, in relation to, uh, to PTSD. And thanks very much to my wonderful client. Uh, who, who spoke about this earlier on. Thank you.